going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 16 player card review today we're going to be looking at dominique rogers comardi aka drc from the new york giants this is his team of the week elite version 92 overall and it has a zone defense style he is six foot two 95 agility 84 press coverage 85 play recognition 98 man coverage 94 speed 95 acceleration 92 zone coverage and 78 catching we'll go ahead and dig a little deeper take a look at some of the other stats along with the ones that we've already mentioned again he's six foot two those taller cornerbacks are very very good in this game 52 strength 95 agility 94 speed we mentioned 95 acceleration 88 awareness 78 catching 65 carrying We'll go down a little further. He has 98 jumping, so not only does he have the height, he can jump up there and basically make himself taller. He says 60, I'm sorry, 80 kick return, 85 elusiveness, 83 ball carrier vision, 88 spin move, 90 juke move. I've never used him at punt return or kick returner, but those are pretty decent stats if you needed him in an emergency or maybe wanted to make him your second or third option. He has 85 play rec, 98 man coverage, very, very good. 92 zone coverage, 92 injury, 94 stamina, 90 spectacular catch, a really good stat for a cornerback, 84 press, and I think that'll do it for the, the stats that are important. So let's go ahead and see what this card does on the field. So let's first go over the pricing on this card, and this is across all platforms. You can find these averages on mutthead.com. On the Xbox 360, 261K. Xbox One, 303K. PlayStation 3, 325K. And the PlayStation 4, 316K. Mutthead.com ranks this DRC card as 94 overall in man coverage, 97 overall jump ball cornerback, 88 hands, 82 physical, 92 zone, 95 range, and 84 run support. If we move over to his rankings, on MuttRank.com, they have him rated as the number 10 overall shutdown cornerback, number 14 overall zone cornerback, number 7 overall man coverage cornerback, number 5 you shall not face catch on me cornerback, and number 17 nickel cornerback. So this card is extremely versatile. What you're going to see on your screen throughout this gameplay is the ability for this DRC card to break up passes. He does it so frequently and so often. Incredibly reliable. Gotta be my favorite cornerback in the game. Now, we talked about his ranking compared to other Mutt cards in the game right now. For the most part, the only cards that are above him are cards like Night Train Lane, the Deion Sanders 99 overall, the brand new Darrell Revis that just came out this week. Most of these cards go for a million or more. So when you look at what this card does versus its peers, it's very, very good because price-wise, it's a lot cheaper. Now, it still is a little bit more on the expensive side. And like I said, he gets a lot more tip balls and interceptions, but occasionally he will make a one-handed catch animation on an interception and one-on-one -on -one coverage. And boy, is that very, very refreshing. I'm able to leave this card on an island, I'd say 90% of all time. And, and what I mean by that is I can leave him on one-on-one -on -one coverage, no safety help over the top, and he usually does not get beat. We did a Patrick Peterson draft champion champions review last week and i mentioned in that one that sometimes he gets b and he's not always reliable this card is the total opposite almost any time you want so you can leave him in one-on-one -on -one coverage ranking him out of a 10 i give him a 9 the only reason he's not a 10 is because of his price i would say for the majority of mutt users i understand you're not going to be able to afford this card but if you do please go get it he will make a great one two or third quarterback on your defense I really love the card. Can't say nothing bad about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm out. Peace.